Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time, back with Omar Alfaro, his real estate entrepreneur. How you doing, buddy? Good. What's happening, Michael? How are you? Hey, man. Uh, one of the things we're going to talk about probably for the next year, our first episode is just going to be an update, uh, an update on the high desert, uh, talking about what's going on, because again, the market is changing quickly. The high desert for me is that canary in the coal mine for California, like what happens there first might ripple over. So I'm, I'm very intrigued to see. For the few people that don't know what the high desert is, can you rattle off a couple of cities that make that up? Yeah, that's the Apple, that's Apple Valley, Hesperia, Victorville, uh, Lucerne, Phelan, Oak Hills, kind of, um, you know, as well as some Wrightwood area that's, okay. you know, we're still the high desert. That's more mountainish, but okay. Barstow as well. Very, very cool. So what's going on over the last couple of weeks? It's been seemingly pretty consistent, an extra hundred in inventory. Uh, kind of really heading to my, what seemed like a crazy call four weeks ago of 1800 by August. Seems oh, yeah. like we might get there. We we are. We're <laughs> going to definitely get there. We're going to get that 2000 Ooh, mark, like wow. you and I both said, um, by the end of the year, maybe even a little bit earlier. So when yeah. we go over these numbers, you'll know why. Yeah. And again, we started this journey back kind of high fours, right? Maybe low 500s before the market really it was, shifted. It was under 500. Yeah, it's like 480, 460. So again, uh -huh. we're yep. at we're at 1270 now in, in what about eight weeks? Yeah. That's just crazy. That's, that's insane, man. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not insane. a big market, right? I mean, it's how many people you think in, we got all? about six hundred thousand? Yeah. Um right. ish. So but everybody just turns and burns here, man. It's like yeah. they're here for two years and they leave. Yeah. So again, let's talk about the market. So um, a lot more listings. Uh, is it okay. fair to say that FOMO from sellers has really started? Um, what about wish pricing? Do you still have a lot of wish pricing? Uh, Absolutely. From, yeah. So let's talk about that. Yeah. That wish pricing, that's uh, where people just woke up and um, they still think they're, you know, uh, eight months ago, mm -hmm. nine months ago, and they still want that price. As a matter of fact, I have two listings that way now. And I've asked them to lower it. And they said, no, that they're going to wait for that one buyer mm -hmm. that wants their house. that's super overpriced. Um, and they're willing to pay more money. And I'm like, that, that buyer is no longer here. <laughs> so you do know that, right? You know, $700,000 to 450 is the equivalent of the payment now because of the interest rate. So right. they, you know, they're like, no, well, we'll just wait. I'm like, okay. Well, yeah, I'm and this, this is exact. Cause this, this is why. I talk about having experience and looking at market daily. So I want to talk about these two individuals and I don't know them from Adam, but again, they're, they're clearly listed at wish pricing. You've coached them that, Hey, the market's different. Do you really want to sell? This is what I think is going to happen more and more and more is people have their number. Whatever, for whatever reason, they think their house is special. It's, it's the one diamond in the rough. They're going to put a number and these people, there's two options. Either the listing is going to expire with no offers and they'll just take it off. Yeah. Which, which I think, again, I don't know high desert like you do, but there's probably 10%, maybe even 15% of listings today are that person, which to me as an active buyer, I don't even consider those active, right? Cause it's a 700 listing on a 550 property. No one's going to buy it. It'll just expire out with no, no nibbles. Yep. So again, a lot of people are going to list if they don't get it, they'll just stay put. Right. hundred percent. I mean, there's no point to it. I said, where are you going to move to? And you're going to give up your, your golden goose of 3% exactly. uh, or two and a half percent or whatever you got to a six and a half percent. Yeah. You know, Hey, if I get my 700, I'll, I'll trade up. Uh, but if I don't, I'm not, I'll stay put. Thank you very much. Uh, all day. I mean, yeah, that's why that's would crazy. you leave money? Yeah, exactly. So what's going on with cancellations and, and uh, you know, properties coming back on the market. Are you seeing a big churn and all of that? Um, there is. Um, I've had probably three or four canceled this last week. Okay. Um, and that's just me. I think as a, as an office, we probably had another three or four. And that's, so that's buyers about... canceling. Correct. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Buyers yeah. are canceling, yeah. not buyers that we represent. No, no, I understand. Yeah. But you know, me having the listing because they're out there looking and they're seeing more uh, product. They're seeing the next best thing. Like everybody else gets faced with the yeah. next best thing, the next best house on the market that might be 20 grand less or $10,000 less with more upgrades. 
So they're like, well, I'm still in my investigation period. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to cancel. Yeah. No I'm hard, already no paying a high, yeah. a high mortgage payment anyways, because the interest rate increased. Well, now I want to make sure that I get the pool. I get the extra upgrades and screw this other one. I'm just going to cancel. Yeah. No, there's, there's th this market we're going through uh, is very different than the one last year. Buyers have all the power. Buyers can absolutely cancel. Now, frankly, I think every buyer, and this probably doesn't feel good as a listing agent. I don't think any buyer should pay list price for anything. Uh, certainly if the listing's 15 days or older, if it's a first day listing and it's like the perfect house, you know, do, do what you want. But anything that's over 15 days, I would pay list price for. I would get sellers to pay closing costs, all of them. And I would get sellers to buy down my rate. I would grind sellers today in a market that is all about, because I don't need the sellers. I don't need all sellers to say yes. I need one seller to say yes. So that's what, if I was coaching buyers today, I was like, we all got screwed the last two years. Time to step up and get a pound of flesh. That's what I'd be telling a buyer. Oh, big time. Yeah. Big time. <laughs> I don't like to hear it. Yeah. But yeah. It's what I'm I would say. <laughs> no, we're also buyers, Michael. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. I, I hope to buy a lot more than sell. But yeah, the market's changed. I really hope, I mean, this is for FHA buyers, VA buyers, owner OC buyers, and certainly investors. The power yeah. is coming to you. And if you're in a market like the high desert, which has doubled in eight weeks, you really have the power. If you're in Phoenix and you went from 5,000 to 12,000, you have the power. If you're in Vegas and it went up 120% in nine weeks, you have the power. Folks, there are markets where if you're a buyer today, don't pay less price, get sellers to pay closing costs, and please get them to buy down. Why pay a higher rate if you don't have to? So again, buyers, step up, ask, ask for more, be aggressive. Oh, 100%. And you know what, guys? And I tell you this, I'm a seller, okay? I'm a seller right now. And guess what happens? Somebody makes an offer. They're asking me, hey, for closing costs, this, that, and the other. And what's crazy, I don't even counter. I just accept her offer. Let's go. Up, yeah. Right? Let's go. Let's put it in escrow. And yet they still canceled. So what do I do? I increase the amount of closing cost credit, throw it out to everybody yeah. that, that I'm going to pay $10,000 in closing cost credit as a seller yeah. so they can buy down their rate or do whatever. And now I have an upswing of showings all of a sudden. Hmm. That's yeah. Listing agents, pay attention to what Omar said. The market is different. You as a listing agent today, <clears throat> it ain't, ain't list to last. You don't get paid to list. You get paid to close. Get creative, market, talk about, dude, if I was a listing agent today, I would straight up in the listing, 10K closing costs, assuming your market supports that. Let, let us buy down your rate. I would take all of these things and put it right in my marketing. 100%. Yeah, Big you got to gotta stand out. I, so I again, I, I think the high desert is going to keep slowing down. You're going to keep getting more inventory. Um, we'll see where prices go. I don't think there's any real deterioration, maybe until next year. Again, the high desert is that that kind of canary for California. Uh, any closing thoughts on topic number one? Other than uh, know your market in your specific area, we yeah. talk about we talk a lot about that in our meetings. And if you know your market, you're now going to be the professional that's going to be letting the sellers know where everything's at, along with the buyers, not to make list price um, offers a little bit less or ask for some closing costs. You rather ask and get countered. Because you will get countered if you ask for the world, but you might as well, because guess what? Listing agents are following up with selling agents to find out, hey, you got an offer for me? Hey, you got an offer for me? All of a sudden, with 12, almost 1,300 homes on the market, yeah, the minute it hits 15, 16, 1,800, forget about it. It's going to be, everyone. every listing agent's going to be calling every single person that showed their property to make sure that the offers coming in. Yeah. Folks, buying property is going to be a lot of fun the next two years. Please get the best deal possible. Please get buy down in rates. Please get closing costs. And if it's older than 15 days, don't write list price. You've got the power. This is FHA, VA, investors, homeowners. It's time to pull back some of the power and get the best deal for you and your family. Yep. Omar, where can people find you? Guys, go to my website, omaralfaro.com or follow me on social, which is on IG at Omar underscore Alfara. Thanks, buddy. Thank you.